The word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 5, to deliver such an one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Paul instructs the Corinthians to exercise church discipline concerning a believer guilty of committing fornication with his stepmother. The church is directed to deliver this believer unto Satan. Why? For the destruction of the flesh, referring to a physical judgment of sin. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. Notice this. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Undoubtedly, there are physical consequences for sin in the believer's life. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, watch this, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. As believers, we are subject to divine discipline and physical destruction if we so choose to defile the temple of our body with sin. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Paul's desire was that through the destruction of this man's flesh, his spirit would be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus when his work is made manifest before the judgment seat of Christ. This future judgment and salvation is regarding the believer's reception or denial of a reward. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, starting off in verse 11, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, notice this, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, watch this, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. The believer whose work abides receives a reward and is saved from what? The suffering of loss. Don't miss that. Contextually, I believe this is what Paul is referring to when he mentions his desire for the man's spirit to be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. A believer whose work does not abide suffers the loss of what? Salvation? No. Reward, though he himself is saved, yet so as by fire. 